Lead in the time for the sequel to Mr. Boogity. This is called Bride of Boogity. The movie begins about a year of the event of the first story. The Davis family had fit in very well with talented people, Lucifer Falls. Almost all of them. But let me begin from the very beginning. It's a camp setting where the main, Mr. Witherspoon, unfortunately his vo his um, actor has been replaced by... Let's see... Oh, yes. He's been replaced by, let's see, oh yeah, Leonoy Flair, and you may know him from such classics from the 80s films, or any films anyway, let's see, he was in The Boy and the Bands, nominated, 1975 Tony Award, Natural and Health, Time of Your Life, Baggy of the Horseback, Triff Knight, The Man Who Came to Dinner, and on Jane Lund's music, Lottie, my love. And believe me, he's known to be in a lot. His final role was in this movie, Bride of <laughs> Boogity. In any case, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yes, here's the script. It was a harsh, ghostly night. When the, uh, when the uncle, when a man comes in walking to the house, an uncle known to be the children, he came in walking in, and they all spooked him out of their gears and their ghostly phantom costumes. They're here. He was here to visit them for a visit. What kind of visit is that? An uncle visits at nighttime. That's scary. Again, my uncle always did that when I was young, Billy. <laughs> in case they were all telling, they were all telling them they're doing well in town, they're doing great and everything. But then Jennifer, when she was walking back home that night from babysitting, she felt that she was followed by Mr. Bookity returned friends and got them all scared off of their stuff went out there and there was no sign of them. And that's the parents say, Mr. Bookie's not returned. They defeated him. And the uncle says, who is that? Well, of course you would know about him. Mr. Bookity is evil. And the thing, when the next day, when the next day happened, they all went for a meeting. Usually their meeting would be at a would be at a shop be owned by the newest villain of the story, Tom Lance, played by Eugene Levis, who grew, who who had who has a great disband for Carter, growing population. He gained more of the town's people, but this led to worried as her daughter Jennifer and two sons Corwin and Ari began to sense that Mr. Boogie may return for revenge. The parents shrugged off the idea, even after they gave warning from fortune teller Madame Malinska. The two boys shared a nightmare, which they found a strange glowing key, which led them to a foggy graveyard. A large statue of Boogie came back to life, attempt to attack them. While the ghost of Jonathan and Jonathan called to them, and they awoke and find the key not glowing. The basement the two tried to spit, trying to convince their parents that Boogie's back, but so far no luck. So the children spend the day wandering around town where they rag the cemetery or else they meet the take a named Lazarus. Oh boy. Lazarus may be an actor you guys may know. Let's see. Let me see the list. Oh yes, Lazarus. Vincent Scalvey. Oh. Vincent Andrew Scalvey. Spelled S C H I A V E L L E. I mean I you may know him. In any case, the children were very worried that Mr. Bookity could exist, could come back. And uh, they showed me on the statue of William Hanover, a real name, Mr. Bookity, to put an end to the children's belief. The father and Alice used a flux and a fake both to prove the Bookity is gone. However, to unwillingly awaken the spirit while Carthen imprisoned him, after the statue scene split open, which may have been helped by Lance trying to take over their store of power, present for Mr. Bookity. So yeah, strange behavior lab will always help boys, brothers, and almost. Oh yes. Then that happened. Unfortunately, Mr. Boogity possessed the father and made him act very weird and very cuckoo, like boogie boogie, laughing like that. 
They tried to get Mad Malinsky and of course Mr. Witherspoon to help them deal with it. The only way to deal with it was to release him from the curse, from the prison. However, they tried very hard that day but couldn't and in the end he almost got rid of them. He almost hurt them. But luckily, his wife's brother came in disguise as a gorilla to scare them off like a prank. And in the end, he didn't, didn't scare Boogity. He just making him laugh out of his body. And the spirit of the ghost went off somewhere. And they were all talking about how dangerous Mr. Boogity is, and we know, but we have the cloak for Mr. Boogity. And unfortunately, the cloak disappeared. It was took it by Mr. Lynch. But there is one little scene that kind of creeped me out. When Mr. When uh, Mr. Boogie um, possessed the dear father, he actually confirmed his, he actually tried to get his wife to dress up as Marion. Mr. Boogie wants a wife and he wants Mrs. Davis, which is not very good. Not very good indeed. So yeah, be worn out there. And also there's this whole scene about this guy making ice cream out of spinach. Eww! That's scary. At the Lucifer of the Far Carnival, Mr. Boogity through Lynch being Rex Heart Icons gave his new acquaintance storefront to life. Boogie Spirit became unleashed and figured and destroyed the carnival. Seeing Oi, the wife dressed up as the widow Marion, he hypnotized and summoned her to him, which is our which remorseful Lynch helped Melissa's assistant. Yeah, in the end, Lynch decided to help because his 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 rival lost his wife. I mean, come on. Who would anyone want to help? It's a good thing to help each other. All right. Here's the next part. Mm, as assistant, the group located Boogity and Louise near the statue. And if and then here's the thing: if they don't save her from Mr. Boogity, he's gonna drag her to the underworld, and she'll die. Dum da dum dum no. Good sign effects. Thank you, mom. <sighs> Kids are gifted. Mm -mm. So unfortunately, Jennifer had to dress up as Marianne Decor, and after Jennifer takes attention from her mother, she tra she uh, tr he tries to take he tries to take Jennifer dressed up as Marianne away. But luckily, they were able to grab her into safety. Both the mother and daughter are safe, and they were able to banish Mr. Boogie's spirit using the key. And Jonathan's ghost played one last prank like the group. I don't think so. Just kidding. And they all just hadn't left. And the boys took the took the took the um, the cape. So that's the story of the bride and the boogeyman, the bride of the boogie of Mr. Boogie. This film was directed by uh, by Zoss Scott, written by Michael G Janu Hoover, which already aired the episode of Disney Sunday Movie. It tells a continuation of the Davis family. Yes, you already know. And now, before I tell you, the one who played Mr. Lynch was none other than, let's see, Lynch. Oh, yes. Eugene Levis. Let's see how long of movies he was in. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Films. Mm. He was in a lot of movies. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. He was in, let's see. He was in Natural Lampool Va Vacation as Ed the Car Salesman. A very classic one. He was in Splash as, as actor of Walter Kornblut. You guys don't know about him. And Father the Bride, single autism, and Once Upon a Crime, and oh yeah, he was he was a character in Stay Tuned, named Crawley. If you don't know what Stay Tuned is, then stay tuned to watch it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, I know. He was also in Richie Rich, uh, Christmas Wizards Professor King Bing, and let's see, he was in a lot of movies, a lot of good ones too, actually. I mean, also he was in oh god, he was in Dumb and Dumber when Harry meets Lloyd. <laughs> He was in Cheaper by a Dozen 2, acted as Jimmy Mathus. He was he was voiced as Clovey from Curious George the Movie. And he was um, the voice of Lou from Over the Hedge. You know, Lou the Hedgehog and all that. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Porcupine. Thank you. He was even um, dressed up, uh, he even voiced Albert Einstein Bubblehead from the Night Museum Battle of the Smithsonian's. And he was, in, he was even in the um, Astro Boy. Voices or in a robot. So yeah, basically he played a lot. Oh, he even played as Charlie in the Finding Dory story, which is good to know actually. And as for TV shows, he was in the Disney Sunday movies, but mostly as Tom Lynch. And he was even in the Ray Barber Theater, an episode of Skeleton. 
And he was even a voice character in Cap Kidney. Oh, Cap Candy. It's a classic cartoon from the 90s. And let's see. Next he was, oh, 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 he was voiced as Dr. Craig's from Doc, from Duckman, if any of you knew. Also, he was Kid Midas from Hercules, the TV series from Disney. And the one of World Disney as Larry. He played as Dilbert, the plug god. Guard, sorry. My pronunciation's not good. So basically, he played a lot of good characters. But yeah. This movie was, well, my thoughts? The first one didn't exactly scare me, although it was fun to luck. But I would say the second one was a bit more better. It had a bit more... Death deception, some more firepower, the more monstrous reactions, the most you can think of. And it was that way, that way! <laughs> first times I watched these movies, first one I probably, first one was about, I was 20, I think. But then again, I enjoyed watching. That's why every Halloween I watch them. Over and over and over. Now, for our next review, I want some, I want one of you to actually pick out a movie for my list. If any of you want me to review any of these Halloween movies, you pick it out. So here's my list of the Halloween movies that I would like to review for the next week. The movies are, let me pick, you can pick them, okay? The movies are Charles Dickens' Ghost Stories from Pickwick Papers, Blackbeard's Ghost 1968, and Halloween Double Double 2012, American Nasty, and Hall and of course, Tower of Terror 1997. So, for this, so for next week, I would like one of you to pick one of these four movies. So do it a poll, do a vote, but just let me know so I'll know what to do for the next week. Because well, I got a lot of moving to do. Yeah, I'm moving to a new house. Hope we can fit all of us in there. Hey kids, have a good night. <laughs>